And that is why 2 plus 2 is in fact 4 and not 5 like some crazies want to try and tell you. Unless they ban the number 4 for being racist then it will be 5 and hey Caillou stop sleeping I'm trying to teach you math which you will probably never need in life but I'm getting paid shit money. To be here so the least you can do is stay awake to my mathematical rambling or else I'm going to get the ruler and spank you 69 times you hear me. Oh sorry Mr. Butthulicker it's just that your voice is so slow and soothing then in a boring setting like talking about math just puts me to sleep. Watching paint dry is more fun than listening to math. Cutting a lawn with just scissors is more exciting than hearing about math. Standing in line at the post office letting people skip you is more fun than math. Eating an entire bag of plain rice cakes is more fulfilling than math problems. Brushing your teeth for an extremely long time with a really tiny amount of toothpaste is more fun than math. Cleaning a floor that's already clean to see if you can make it even more clean is way more fun than solving math problems. Doing your taxes early so you'll have more time to help other people with their taxes later is probably more fun than this math class. Ordering blank sheets of paper online and staring out the window for two weeks straight to wait for the delivery to show up is much more fun than math. Figuring out how to slow down your internet connection just to savor the loading screen is more entertaining than listening to math. Playing chess against yourself and adding your own commentary as long as you do it in your head is more fun than fucking math. Getting stuck in a traffic jam is a million times funner than math. And at the end of the day, all I really need to know how to do is add, subtract, multiply, and divide and I'll be just fine in life as long as I don't become an alcoholic working at a gas station like you did before being a teacher. Well too bad Caillou, whether you like it or not you are in this class and I am your teacher and you should probably listen to what I'm teaching because you will have a huge math test tomorrow. And I'm talking Nikocado Avocado sized big of a test. Aw oh man but I hate tests, I hate taking tests almost more than eating my mom's cooking. How about you just fucking listen to Mr. Buttholicker and pay attention and study you stupid smelly boy. Holy shit the AI is getting way too good to the point where you sound like an actual little girl that is a little too creepy man. Come on Caillou it's time to wake up and go to school so that you are away from this house for 8 hours which is the best part about Monday's Trough Fridays is when I have 8 hours without you around so, wake the fuck up and come eat breakfast. Ah uh, but mom I don't want to wake up and go to school. I don't want to take that stupid math test from that snotty teacher of mine and I just want to go back to my dream where I was in Pizza Hut eating pizza because pizza is pretty good because we never. Have enough money to buy pizza and every time you make homemade pizza it tastes like Shrek's diarrhea. Well I don't care Caillou you have to go to school and 8 wonderful hours every 5 days in every 4 weeks of every month except for those long months of July and half of August when you sadly have to be. Home is when you are the school's problem so come on Caillou, get out of bed and come eat breakfast. So Caillou how is your cereal this morning? Well mom I don't know how you do it but even you can find a way to mess up fucking cereal, it tastes like the inside of a fallopian tube. Seriously how the fuck do you make cereal out of all things taste so horribly bad I'd rather lick the floor of gym floor than the cereal. Oh just shut the fuck up and get ready for school so you can get out of my hair, your bus will be here in 5 minutes so go out there while I will go in the bathroom and use one of my vibrators. Okay fine I'm going. But don't get mad when I flunk math because I hate fucking math and honestly don't give a fuck about paying attention to Mr. Buttholicker's stupid lessons. Man I don't want to go to stupid school and take that stupid test. It's all just so dumb. Hey wait a minute I could just miss the bus and just not go to school that's totally not the oldest trick in the book and never been done before on multiple occasions throughout TV and the internet. Alright I missed the bus. Now I can just roam around freely while my mom just sits at home like the lazy bitch she is and won't know I'm having fun all day instead of getting math shoved down my throat and asshole. Hey Caillou, 
Aren't you supposed to be in school right now? Oh, I was tested positive for but herpes so I'm out of school for the day. Sorry to hear that but I gotta get away from you. See you later, George. Yum, eating pizza in Pizza Hut just like my dream. If I had to go to school I would never be eating such good pizza and instead would be eating cafeteria pizza probably made with plastic cheese, fake tomato sauce, and a piece of cardboard as the bread put in the microwave. This is a movie, a very epic movie that is playing, best movie ever oh yeah. Man I kinda ran out of things to do, I don't have any money left to do anything else. I can't go home and watch TV because my lazy mom is there and would know I skipped school so now all I have left to do is just sit in this park until the time I would usually go home and pretend I just got of the bus. Hey kid aren't you supposed to be in school right about now and not sitting in a beautiful park instead of having useless information shoved down your throat? Oh well you see I was tested positive for anal herpes so that is why I'm not in school getting lectured about information that will probably never help me in life. Oh okay that checks out I gotta get away from you then. How works every time. Okay now I just gotta hide and wait for the school bus to come and then I can go inside and pretend I just got off the bus that is thankfully gas powered and not electric. Ha huh, so fucking easy. Caillou you seriously didn't think you could just get away with skipping school now could you, you little dipshit? Well yes, but how the fuck did you know I skipped school all you do all day is sit on your ass and watch TV like I do except I'm a kid and you're the adult who should be working. Well Caillou, since I didn't call you out the school called me when I was in the middle of using one of my vibrators to tell me you didn't show up to school. And so now that you tried to get out doing a math test you are grounded be 10 months scrubbing our toilet with your tongue every time we take a shit of piss and no food or TV mister. And since you were supposed to take your math test today I decided it would be a great idea to make you take your test right now in your own home but I'm going to make you do 69 different versions of the same test and if you fail any of them I will spank you 69 times with a ruler. Well I finished the 43rd test but my brain is fried I can't do any more this is worse than mom's cooking I can't take these stupid math problems anymore. No Caillou you have to finish the rest of my tests this is your punishment for skipping school. Okay you know what no, fuck off, here's your pencil back bitch. Ow what the fuck you stupid little dipshit. That's it Caillou just for that I'm going to make you eat that fucking pencil. Tastes better than your cooking. Okay seriously what the fuck was this ending, actually what was with this episode, kinda a mid type of episode if I'm being honest.